Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for this week's On Call for All Kids. This is a weekly segment we have here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital where we're talking about timely topics in pediatric healthcare with our experts here at the hospital. Today with us we have Dr. Jasmine Reese. She is the Medical Director of the Adolescent and Young Adult Specialty Clinic. And Dr. Reese, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Today we're speaking about third-hand smoke. So many of us have heard first-hand smoke secondhand smoke, but there's also something called thirdhand smoke. Well, break it down for us. What is first and foremost firsthand smoke? Yeah, so that's a really good question. And I just wanted to mention that really how this came about was a conversation with some first time parents. Um, and so I have a new baby godson that was just recently born. Oh, and so thank you so much. And so their first time parents were really looking up, um, you know, parenting literature. They came across this topic of third hand smoke. And so they asked me about it. And I thought this is such an important topic, not only for first time parents, but really for all parents, for all family members, um, whether you have newborn infants or toddlers or even teens at home, this is a really important topic um, to kind of know better because like you mentioned, most of us know about firsthand smoke, which is really um, when you're around somebody who's smoking, right? So those chemicals that are coming from the cigarette themselves or the vape product, um, the firsthand smoke is what is released from that cigarette. When we're talking about secondhand smoke, um, that's really if you are in the environment of somebody who is smoking a cigarette, uh, you're now inhaling those chemicals from the cigarette. So you're still sort of in that environment. When we're talking about thirdhand smoke, now we're talking about the chemicals that are released from that cigarette, now combining with um, the substances or chemicals that are naturally found in our atmosphere, um, and now forming new chemicals, new toxic substances that get inhaled that actually stick to the uh, cloth of furniture, for example, or to the fur on your pets or your hair, your clothing. And now we're constantly inhaling that whether or not somebody is actually actively smoking in your immediate environment. So what do we, as a parent, what do we need to be aware of? Maybe if we're going over to someone's house, mm -hmm. if they are a smoker, how do we know if maybe those particles are there? So, I mean, I would say it's pretty safe to assume that if you're going to somebody's house who you know does smoke in their home, even if they're not smoking in that moment, probably the paint on the walls, the furniture, the, the uh, again, you know, the fur on the pets, um, the clothing probably has some of these new formed chemicals um, because again, that combination of the smoke from whatever they were smoking or vaping, for example, is now combined with the naturally occurring substances. And so we know there's over 250 chemicals um, in third hand smoke that exist, and some of these are cancer causing. So we know that they're very harmful for us to inhale personally, and we certainly don't want our, our children to be inhaling it either. Yeah, is there any amount of third hand smoke that's okay to inhale that we shouldn't be so worried about? Um, there's there's really no safe amount of third hand smoke to inhale um, and so you know the best thing to do especially for parents who are going to invite somebody to babysit their child or people to come to their home really we want our guests or, or even babysitters to really respect our kind of home rules and kind of set that guideline that we really don't want you to just change out your clothes but we really don't want any smoking at all in the environment or the home. Well how do you really prevent exposure to third hand smoke? Mm -hmm. Yeah and so the American Academy of Pediatrics actually recommends you know as the best way to sort of prevent any inhalation of third hand smoke is to really not start smoking at all. Okay. Yeah. yeah, good tips. Well, thank you so much, especially if you're a first time parent and you're wanting to know these things. I never really heard of third hand smoke before. So this is really great information for our parents watching there today. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for watching. If you have any questions for experts or maybe some topic ideas that you want to ask them or want us to cover, you can just comment below on this video. And you can also head over to our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. And you'll find lots of different articles and information about pediatric health care right there. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week.